This is my stairs, as you can see here. And on these stairs used to be a carpet. As in, if you can see it, look at it. Uh, I don't know what kind of wood it is. It looked to me like a pine. But what I really want to do here, I want to actually put a stairs. And that's what I want to show you how I'm doing it. This is the material I purchased from Home Depot, as you can see. Uh, this is a stair. It's a pine stair. I really prefer pine and oak because oak you have a red, reddish and I oak have a red color on it. And white oak and it's very expensive. So this is a, the stair I'm actually bought. I bought 13 of them because I have 13 steps. I have here I have seven and here I have six I believe in this place. So what I purchased is I purchased uh, a stair which is a four inch, four feet, but I believe one feet. So it's four by one feet. It costs ten dollar, ten dollar a piece. Okay, from Home Depot, and here I bought a kind of a plywood, but it's a probably one eighth of an inch of plywood. Uh, it's not a pine, but the color is very similar to pine. And I forgot the name of it, but it's uh, really is the only one that I can actually match to the color of pine. That where I'm going to stain it, at least it's going to look very similar. So here I'm actually intent to put the stairs, and this stairs actually it's a three feet by I believe one feet. So and this piece of wood or the stair, you can see the oval here. It's come with this oval here that uh, a stair should look like. So you really get a very good deal when you buy pine instead of oak. In my opinion. I worked with it before and I get a very, very good result with pine. Uh, oak is like three or four, two or three four times more expensive and unfortunately they're only selling red oak. The white oak is even more expensive. So that's why I actually purchased the pine one and I will work with pine, stain it and we let you see the result. So this uh, stair, the old one that you see, it's actually two by six. As you can see here, what a bad stuff. It's a, it's a lumber 2x6 here. And on top of it, we used to put carpet. And that's the way it's look now. As you can see, the different. And that's the way after we remove the lumber 6x2, that's the way it's look. As you can see, So on top of that, we're going to put now the stair and then we put the razor. It's a very simple job. Everybody can do it. It really transforms your house or a different one. This is the tool we are using to cut the stairs to the right measurement as needed here. As you can see here, and here is the wood remain going here. Okay, so if you would like to buy this machine, it's actually in Home Depot here. And we already cut trim it here to be nine and a half inch instead of eleven inch. It's coming like eleven inch. You can see it already been trimmed by the machine you see here. So as you can see, it's 10, exactly 10, e 10 inches. Yeah, 10 inches. It used to be like 11 inches, correct? Uh, no, this is what it is right now. Correct, the original was like 11 inch. It's 11 inches, 11 and a half inches. Okay, the original was 11 and a half inch. We have to trim it to 10 and a half inch.
I so just want to tell you that every stairs have different length, a little bit length, different, but the width of them is the same. Uh, nine, it's actually ten and a half. So you can see how we cut it here with this table saw. You can see here. I want to take it back, the width is really 9 and 7, 8, and we just cut this one now with the table saw, as you can see it's excellent cut. So this is a very cool table saw, if you want it, you can buy it on Home Depot. Okay, so I want to tell you that this, you see the overhang here, is exactly one inch, okay? You can see here it's all of them exactly one inch, and why is that? because I don't really want leverage here. You don't want to put it more than one inch because then you will create a leverage and put pressure on the stairs. So you can see the nail is actually here, near and near. Uh, three nails in each place. Uh, what I want to, sh to show you is that uh, we need to use a, a filler here, a wood filler here where it's the uh, nails to cover it. Very small amount of uh, wood filler to do it. So here we're going to put a threshold, and uh, for that one I'm going to use this kind of a wood here, you can see it's a threshold for laminate, the laminate is actually coming from here, so that's what we're going to do, we're going to put this as a threshold or a transition between the laminate and to the stair floor here, as you can see. So here I want to talk about the riser here, here is the riser, you can see it here, it's nothing but kind of a quarter of an inch or one eighth of an inch, you can buy it from Home Depot. Uh, you can see the color is the same. It's, it's not pine, but something very similar to pine. This is really a pine tree. As I told you, I'm using pine tree because it's not expensive, very strong, and it's very easy to stain it. I prefer it on oak, expensive, and you have red color on it. So that's why I'm actually going for pine. You can see it because we measure and we just cut it. And you really want it to fit exactly. It's very difficult because, as you know, the wall is not straight here. But we try to fit it as much as we can. So you can see we have uh, I'll show you here, that is the riser we actually use. So it's tough, it's very simple. And this riser is actually going to be glue to the wood there on the stairs, let me show you. So this is the glue we are using here, as you can see it's a liquid subflow. You really want to use this one, you can use liquid nail if you want, but uh, this is better. Uh, a little bit more expensive, but uh, you can actually do a better job with it. We actually have here now, we have actually two pieces, you can see these pieces is just full, but we don't get to glue it. And this is the second piece here, we didn't glue it yet. Okay, here is the second piece. So that is the first piece, but that piece is glue already, as you can see. This piece is really glue already to the wood. So if we're going to glue it, we're going to actually glue it to this piece. It's a kind of a plywood, I don't know, it's always be, bo always be bored actually, it's not plywood. Either. So here you can see I put a cartoon here on the stairs. We finished these stairs already. And before staining it, you really need to protect the stairs. So as you can see, we put protection already and we put another um, stair. Now we're going to put the last two of them. And I want to show how simple it is to put it.
it's going to push one stairs like you see here and we have another one to go here so what we did now we just clean uh, the lumber here as you can see we remove all the glue which is very easy to do and we put here we're going to put another stair here remember the stair is actually nine and seven eight the width of it and the length of them, each one is different unfortunately because of the the wall here are not very straight so the difference is a couple of millimeters but you really want to do it very accurately because you can see there is a little bit of space here we have to actually uh, take this space and probably cock it here after we stain it there is the razor here just just measure to see okay. So you see how it's easy to, to do it, to put it. What we did now, until now, we just put the stair, we didn't glue it yet, we just double check to see if everything is, is okay. Then we're going to glue and nail the stairs, and I believe the razor you only need to glue it. So you can see what it does, you just remove it now and you're going to put the glue. Let's say from here, what we're actually doing. Okay, so we already put the glue here and now we're going to stick it. So we're going to use a nail gun here also. Okay, so now we're actually sticking the, the riser. And what he will do now, he will actually probably nail it. Now we're using a, a fine nail, a three quarter of an inch. Fine nail. So the ra the riser we we glue and also nail it. You have to be generous with the yeah, to put quite a bit of the, quite a, a liberal amount, right? Yeah, you want it to have something to bind too. Yeah. Yeah, you want to. And you see, we actually now put the stair. You can see the stairs.
So you can see it does it put a liberal amount of uh, glue here. And I really want to show what's happening from close proximity. We use four nails here, as you can see, and then use the other tools, uh, I don't know what you call it, just to push the nail inside uh, the stairs that we can actually put filler there on where the nail. You need to have nails or screw, doesn't matter which one is you're going to use. Remember, the stair is also glue, so it's going to be very firm, attach to the structure here. You see, use the punch here to... Kind of sink. Use the, uh, to count the nail into the stairs to the wood that you won't see it. We can actually put a filler after that, mm -hmm. just to... It was good. Okay. Yeah. As much as three times, so I can make no mistakes. Okay, it's 35 and 7 eighths. 35 and 7 eighths, okay. Mm -hmm. So just now you measure the razor, and the razor is 35 and 7 eighths. It's going to cut it with a machine and, and glue it and nail it to the structure, as you can see here. You're removing all the nails for the that was there because of the carpet, correct? Yeah, and all the flush. So. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not a very good idea to put carpet on. No, on the stairs. On stairs. Very bad idea. No, not especially for entry. It's just it is really dirty. We're out there. Put liberal amount, huh? huh? You put liberal amount of glue. It's coming to the way now, it's got to be careful. This is it. Make sure you get all the good sides. Yep, we're good. 
And you want to be generous with this stuff. You don't want to want to have enough. That's it, finish? Mm -hmm. Very lucky. No, I think it's the mark. It's the mark only. That's it. Just screw it and uh, just mm -hmm. nail it. Nail it. You nail it and that's it. So with the, the gap, you know, that you have between this, uh, okay, you actually push it, correct? Well, no, this one hasn't been pushing it. Yeah, you push it in. Mm -hmm. Let's push it. Aha. Uh -huh. That's the trick, huh? Mm -hmm. To push into them, they nail it, that's it. So this is the way the stairs look after the installation, as you can see from close proximity here. There are some imperfections here as a result of the wall. The wall is not very straight. So this one, you can actually, is the small gap, you can actually cock it with a, a silicone or white silicone here. Um, but that's what we'll do after we're going to stain it. So that is the lower level. I want to show you how the upper level look like. Just want to remind you to put the cover over the bare wood, which is a pine wood. You really don't want to walk on it with your shoes. And also when you walk on it, just walk on the center slowly because it still have a glue, so you don't really want to move it. And that's the way it's look for the upstairs, you know, to upstairs level, the way it's going to go here. Here is actually, we have uh, also some imperfection, very small imperfection on the side here. We will have to address it with caulking. But as you can see, with a very minimal in investment of probably a $130 material, you transfer all your stairs to something by far nicer than what I had before and really the work was actually four hours uh, removing the uh, lumber, the 2x6 or 2x8 lumber and just installing the new pine that you can actually buy from Home Depot it cost exactly $10.64 for each still.